time, weather, and... Hello and welcome to Driving with Todd. And I'm Todd. We're going to do a request. The request comes in from two different YouTubers. What's interesting is they're about five months apart. The first request came in in early January. And the second request just came in the other day in May. So I thought, hey, we got to do this song. I've got two requests for it. And um, I haven't touched it yet. So... I, I got to do this song and I've never heard of the artist or the song. So that even makes it better. The first request came in from my reaction to Skyhooks doing the song Million Dollar Riff. The YouTuber making the request goes by the name of Kent Blythe. And Kent writes this. Interesting pickup on Skyhooks being years ahead of both the U.S. and English in musical direction. This was common for Australian rock and pop bands that never made it big in the U.S. Australia's first big rock star, Johnny O'Keefe, otherwise known as J.O.K., mostly did excellent covers of U.S. rock. But he wrote The Wild One, or Wild One, about 1957-58. First recorded by Jerry Allison with Buddy Holly on guitar in 1958. So, many American bands and artists have covered The Wild One, Every, and everyone forgets it is Australian. Notable covers were being Susie Quattro and Iggy Pop. That's quite the combination. <laughs> Susie Quattro and Iggy Pop. Then another Aussie band, The Saints, were performing pure punk in England years before the punk movement and bands emerged. So uh, I've done a reaction to The Saints a, a little earlier back, and I did learn that they were like the original punk band. I, I didn't realize that. I thought the punk movement really started in the UK, but it actually started in Australia. So again, years ahead of other countries. So who's the artist? Johnny O'Keefe. What's the song? The Wild One. So we have another request for that same song coming in from my reaction comparison review of Johnny Allen versus Elvis Presley doing the song Promised Land. The YouTuber making the request goes by the name of Once Was R. Strathfield. And Once Was has uh, written me many times to do different Australian songs, and I've done quite a number of reactions based on uh, uh, Once Was's recommendation. So again, Once Was writes this, Wild One, Johnny O'Keefe, Ivor Jones. Please look up and react to this, Todd. This was Australia's first rock and roll star. He wrote and recorded Wild One, Real Wild Child, which has been covered by Jerry Ivan Allison of Buddy Holly and the Crickets, Iggy Pop, there's Iggy Pop again, Billy Idol, Status Quo, Everlife, Susie Quattro, Teenage Head, Albert Lee, and Wakefield. There have been a few rock and rollers in Australia in the 50s to early 70s, but I think Johnny O'Keefe is the best place to start. I'll keep giving you recommendations in chronological order. Ivor Jones has the best upload as far as I can see. And so when I did take a look at what was available in YouTube for this particular song, Johnny O'Keefe, uh, The Wild One, there are quite a number of videos up there, and the one that comes up first, at least in my search, was the one by Ivor Jones, so it must be the best one. So again, I've never heard this song. Uh, Johnny O'Keefe was big in um, Australia from the mid-50s to, I think, to about 1964-65 when long-haired rock music started to take over the music scene and the older style artists from the 50s started to wane off. Um, so I've never heard this song before. I don't think I've ever heard it covered before. A lot of these artists, such as Status Quo, uh, The Runaways, Susie Quattro, uh, Joy Jet and the Blackhearts. I mean, these are groups I've, I've listened to, but I don't think I've ever heard this song. So here we go with Johnny O'Keefe doing the song from 1958 that hit number 20 on the Australian uh, singles chart. So it was a big hit for Johnny O'Keefe. The song, Wild One. Well, I'm a just out of school, like I'm real, real cool. Got a shake, got a jive, got the message that I got to feel alive. I'm a wild one, ooh yeah, I'm a wild one. Ooh, baby, gonna break loose, I'm gonna keep 
a move a while, I'm gonna keep a shaking, baby. I'm a real wild child. I meet all the guys, I'm gonna meet all the chicks. Shiver and I shake it till I get them my kicks, cause I'm a wild boy. Ooh, yeah, I'm a wild boy. Woo, baby, gonna break loose. I'm gonna keep a move a while, I'm gonna keep a shaking, baby. I'm a real wild child. Get me a chick, cause that's a hole in my home. Okay, I'm going to stop right here a second. Very much 50s rock and roll. So I'm, I'm not a big follower of, of 50s rock. Uh, I'm just going to be honest with, with everybody. My, my era is probably mid-60s to the uh, late 80s. That, that's, that's the time frame that I was really into the music scene of the, that current uh, music. Uh, once we got into the 90s, I didn't really like what was going on. I didn't like some of the rock bands that uh, were coming out in, in the style of music. So I kind of waned away from uh, rock uh, and went back into the 60s. But the 50s isn't my time period. Um, it would definitely be my brother's time period. He would probably know this style of music much better than I would. He's four years older than I am. But uh, it, it has that 50s sound to it. it it's, it's kind of... Um, what could you say? Almost like the recording is, is sort of primitive. It's, it's primitive recording. There's a lot of instrumentation in here. There's some, some heavy drumming, some bass, but you've got saxophone in there. And, and every time I hear that type of saxophone, I'm thinking of the 50s. Also the piano. So I, when I'm listening to this, I'm thinking Jerry Lee Lewis. I mean, it sounds to me a little like Jerry Lee Lewis. And I saw Jerry Lee Lewis live, I think it was in 1972 or 73. And um, yeah, I mean, he was fantastic. He was just fantastic. And and this is reminding me a little of that. The lyrics are are also kind of 50-ish. Um, they're, they're, they're more fun lyrics and and not complicated at all. So to me, it's it's got that total 50s feel to it. But it is a fun song so far. I mean, I really like what I'm hearing. So let's keep on going. Baby, I'm a real wild child. Give me a chick, cause that's a hole in my home. Shake it till the meter comes out of the phone, cause I'm a wild one. Oh yeah, I'm a wild one. Woo, baby, gonna break loose. I'm gonna keep a moving while I'm gonna keep a shaking, baby. I'm a real wild child. Let's go now. Nice instrumental break too. I, I like it where you've got the battling guitar and and, and it's like a a, a non uh, filtered guitar. It sounds like a straight guitar. Uh, the play, person playing that guitar solo and then battling the saxophone. You got the, the two battling in the instrumental break. That's pretty cool. Usually you know you got one or two or one of the instruments, but not both at the same time. And to do both, that's pretty that's pretty remarkable. Enjoyed it. I'm gonna take it back a little bit so we can hear that instrumental break again. That's fun, but I, I gotta say, I, and I said it when my first when I first broke into the song, it, it reminds me a lot of Jerry Lee Lewis. Even the way he's using his voice, um, 
it, it, it's just kind of interesting because he's using his voice in that same way where he gives it that kind of up-tempo to his voice, a little bit of cracking in his voice as he singing the real wild child part. So to me, yeah, you, you, you've got some Jerry Lee Lewis influence into this song. So um, I, when I read one of the uh, comments, they said that, that uh, Johnny O'Keefe did a lot of covers of, of U.S. rock and roll back in the 50s prior to record, uh, writing this song and, and recording this song. So I can see where Johnny probably had some influences from people like Little Richard or, or Jerry Lee Lewis or, or even Buddy Holly and, and the Crickets. And, and took those influences and put them into this song. But it's a fun song. You know, the thing with the 50s is from everything I've kind of listened to, um, and I haven't listened to a lot of music from the 50s, I'm going to be honest with you, uh, it's always kind of fun to listen to there. It, it has a whole different feel. Um, like I said, it's almost like a, a primitive rock and roll. And, and the recording techniques, you're probably using two or four channel uh, recording on, on half inch tape. Is, is my guess, or maybe even one inch tape, but not more than, than four channels. So you're, you're trying to take all this instrumentation that Johnny O'Keefe had into this song and put it onto four tracks and then mix it together to get a good mono recording because I'm assuming this was released in mono and, and possibly not in stereo, especially since it was from 1958. But cool song. I, I, I It's fun to listen to. This would be a really great dance number. Uh, you know, you... you you're feeling the beat. You gotta you gotta move a little bit. And like I said, his vocals were really good as well. I mean, it was that typical or not typical, but that that definite '50s sound to the vocals, '50s rock sound. So it was fun. It was a fun song. And um, like I said, I, I'd like to hear some of these cover versions because, like I said, I never heard this song before. But yet, most of the artists that covered this song that were at least listed in the comments uh, that I received. And I've heard these bands already, so so it's like, okay, why didn't I hear this song before? So it'd be interesting to listen to a couple of those cover versions as well. So I enjoyed this. This was fun. Uh, like I said, I'm not a big 1950s rock person, but whenever I get a request or you know I dig something up that's from the 50s and I play it, I do enjoy it. I mean, music's music, and I love it all. So I hope you love it all as well, and that you really enjoyed Johnny O'Keefe doing the song Wild One, and hit that like button. That'd be really appreciated. If you have any comments to Johnny O'Keefe doing the song Wild One, hey, put in the comments below. I'd love to read what your thoughts are. Also, I'm going to take a link to this video, and I'm going to put it into my description below. So if you want to watch it again and not have me stop it, it's about a 2 minute and 16 second song, so it's something that you can watch a couple of times and not burn up a lot of space in your day. Just click on that link, open it up, and enjoy it again. I'm also going to take a link to the channel that uploaded this video and put in my description below. So if you want to check out that channel, see if there's anything else out there that might interest you, click on that link, the channel will open up, and away you go. Now, have you subscribed to Driving With Todd? If you haven't, why don't you do it right now? Just go below this video, and below the title of the video is a subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button, and you're in. You'll be making me very happy. If you go over here and ring the bell, you'll get updates to my latest video. Another great recommendation for an Australian uh, rock and roll singer, Australian rock and roll artist. Um, I'm learning a lot about Australian rock in the last couple of months, and we'll keep on looking at Australian music as we move forward. This was fun. Put a huge smile on my face. I'm hoping put a huge smile on your face, and peace out, baby. <laughs>